What's this? Whoa! Iron side. Press to generate a bullet snatching shield that places ammo into your gun. Nice. Very nice. Box populi. We must have arrived right in the middle of the siege. That means the other you and I are probably inside the factory. On our way up to the first lady. And what happens if we run into ourselves? We won't. How do you know that? Because, because we, we didn't. Haha, did. <laughs> I knew it. Haha, <laughs> I knew it. See? I'm not that dumb. We won't because we didn't. Simple as that. If it had, we would have we seen it from the first game. It could, history can't just change like that. Huh? Oh. Come on, Liz. Alright, I'm taking your counsel. Daisy. And you done me good service, but I will not hurt the boy. What's this? I will see Fink and Comstock Tess? But I will not hold the son to account for the deeds of his father. You've misunderstood us. We neither asked you to harm the child. Nor did we promise that yours would be the hand that would set Comstock's world afire. A famous man once said. And a famous man shall say. I may reach the mountaintop. But I fear I shall never visit the valley below. But you mean I won't live to see the... <sighs> No. It's up to you what matters more. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Someone is coming. She'll arrive a girl. She must leave a woman. And what makes the difference between a girl and a woman? Blood. Your part in the play. Or the play itself. Turn her into a killer? How? Give the girl no choice. And she will be forced to make one. Oh my gosh, that's when she had the boy. She was gonna kill the little boy and and Elizabeth. Elizabeth killed her. I'm sorry for those who didn't see the main story. I just bought it for you. <laughs> Goodness gracious, Lutas, can you you can you be trusted? Jeez Louise. I like that. I like that. Just that that's spin. All right, Bucko, where are you going? Someone here, huh? This is you first. What's going on? Oh, good. Oh, I thought she was still standing. You got a doll. How come in the original game we didn't see these bodies? Simpler than I thought. Shotgun. You know, just poison gas, knock on everyone, steal their stuff. Good times. Accent. Oh my gosh, that accent. Jay, Daisy. There's a war coming. You can smell it in the air. Fear, hatred, people dying every day. But how many more will suffer if we rise up? Violence begets violence. I know this. I've seen this. A rational mind argues for a peaceful solution to find a common ground, but what common ground is there to find for a father who watches his child bleed out in the street? Oh, jeez, that's terrible. Hmm, and you have one lockpick. A second one should, should come in handy. I 
he deny him his vengeance? I know that fire that burns deep inside. I know it all too well. And when the time comes, will I be able to stay to hand? Interesting. Just the jeez, the narrative. Jeremiah Fink. Are we gonna see when she kills him from a different vantage point? Am I gonna see myself become a killer? Am I gonna see Elizabeth go from a girl to a woman? Think. What just happened? Wait, hold on. What's over here? It says sleep. Sure. An apple of the day. Thanks. A clock. My guess is that it has something to do with that giant clock out there. And that clock has something to do with opening the door to Fink's lab. Isn't that the Lutess guy? Ha! Lutess. Our current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biological urge to leave one's mark is strong, and it is not an impossibility. We could instantiate ourselves back in Columbia, return to an old life for the possibility- A giant clock. Oops. Sort of. Looks like the mechanism unlocks certain activities when Fink gives his blessing. So what? We're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No. We've already found the clock. We can manually wind it. Open whatever door we please. Nice. So this is the door sure I want to get like a lot of work to lock down a few doors. You know, if there's one thing Fink loves, it's a lot of work. So player, leisure, work. There's nowhere to sleep. So player. What's down here? Okay. So, as far as I can tell, it's safe. What's this? Ooh, that good drink, girl. I'm not a big fan of drinking. Come on, Jeep. Oh, yeah, we're in Columbia, I forgot. <laughs> Untold rewards await the faithful in eternity. Zachary Hale Comstock. Wait, right, it's Hale, right? I don't know, I can't remember this stuff. <laughs> I do believe it's Zachary Hill Comstock though. Although it's an entirely fake name, but then again, my, my name isn't entirely fake. I don't think I was called the Bad Luck Prince at birth, do you? What shall you name your son? The Bad Luck Prince, man. <laughs> ah, leisure. What's this? Another voxophone? Wait, I want to hear this one on the phone. I want to hear this one first. Our current state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. The biological urge to leave one's mark is strong, and it is not an impossibility. We could instantiate ourselves back in Columbia, return to an old life for the possibility of creating new. But we died in that world. Returning would mean giving up part of us. Ourselves. We'd become flesh and all that it is heir to. The mysteries of the universe would become once again... Mysteries. Interesting. So, apparently Fink and Su Chong won... I guess it's, it's, it's cheaper to inject because ten times more. We drink it. Like Booker did. Oh, Fink! Sea slugs. No. Goddamn sea slugs. Could that Oriental have come up with a more inconvenient fuel for his plasmids? If there is a god, and I've seen more evidence to the contrary than in support, you'd think he'd have put Adam into the belly of a nice little seagull or crow. The cost of all these underwater expeditions are murdering my margins. Interesting. 
Well then, let's let's take a look at this, shall we? As to the matter of religion, let me place myself in the camp of the agnostic. I pretend to understand the mysteries of the infinite no more than you, Comstock, or anyone else for that matter. But for the sake of argument, let's say this is all one unhappy accident, and we're all alone in our toils. Then who would Comstock use to control and shame us with rules that apply only to those with not a penny in their pocket? If there were no God, you could rest assured the first deed done by the first rich man would be inventing him. I believe she actually has a point there. I don't know, people just like to... Some, some people, some people like to look up, you know? To know there's something bigger than them, and others, like a friend, you know, doesn't believe in anything higher than himself. Alright. Good. How to get that idiot his lock of hair? Alright. Think, 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 you think, think. <laughs> Dumbledore. Alright, so, so far this codec is working better. Listen, I got you, you're done. I'm here for my own. Booker. But my Booker DeWitt died for the Fox Popular. You <gasps> I knew it! I'm gonna see it! No, 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 no! No! Damn it! No! Bloody hell. Ah! Jeez, I wanted to see that. Booker, are you there? I miss you. You were the only one who ever. You were my only friend. Booker. I'm not even here. I'm a projection of your own. Could you humor me then? Please. I think Booker would miss you. But Booker's dead. You had to kill him. Oh, that's. Oh jeez, it's gotten to me. One, two, three. 